Students, in this video, we'll consider the Legendre differential equation. Legendre's differential equation has the following form. It's 1 minus x squared y double prime minus 2x y prime plus lambda y is equal to zero. It's a sturm leeville differential equation where we're solving an eigenvalue problem for a certain differential operator, okay? And so of course we can see here that both one and negative one are regular singular points for this differential equation, right? So note that x equals plus minus one are regular singular points, but zero is actually an ordinary point, right? So zero is an ordinary point, so I'm going to find the solution around x equals zero. So let's consider the solution centered at zero. I'm gonna go k, it's my index of summation. k goes from zero to infinity. Let's change that just a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. k goes from zero to infinity. a k, x to the k, all right. And then the standard thing we have, right? We have y prime is equal to the sum k goes from 0 to infinity of k, a k, x to the k minus 1. And y double prime is the sum k goes from 0 to infinity k, k minus 1, a k, x to the k minus 2. So that's our setup. And so now let's go group the terms efficiently, right? So notice that this x squared term over here, y double prime, this x, y prime, and this y term all have the power x to the power k. Why so? Because this k minus two, when I hit it with an x squared, is gonna turn into a k. This x times y prime is gonna turn that x to the k minus one into a k. So let's look at this term, this y, y double prime term. So we're gonna have the sum, k goes from zero to infinity of k, and then k minus one, a k, x to the k minus two, that's my y double prime term. And then I have a negative, 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 I'm gonna pull a negative from everything, the sum k goes from zero to infinity. These are gonna be my x to the k terms. And then I'm gonna have a x squared times y double prime, so I'm gonna have a k, k minus one. But positive, I have a two y prime, so that's gonna be a two k plus two k, like that, x to the what? Plus two k, x to the uh, then a k, then finally a plus lambda, right? Plus lambda, and those are a k terms. x to the power k is equal to zero, okay? So if we simplify this over here, what are we gonna see? This is going to be a k squared minus k, so it's gonna be a k, k squared, and then a plus k plus lambda, like that. And I'm gonna shift the index of summation. So in other words, I can write this also as k times k plus one, right? So this is also k times k plus one, like that, okay? All right, and so now the idea is that I need to shift this down by two units over here to center everything. So I'm gonna turn this k into a two, and then all of these things have to be replaced with two, so it's gonna be a k minus two, k minus one plus lambda, and then a k minus two, x to the k minus two is equal to zero. And now we get a recursion relationships for our coefficients. So what do our coefficients have to satisfy? It must be the case that k k minus one, a k, or the negative sign here, and that lambda has to be now negative, so that's gonna be a negative lambda over there. That's a negative lambda. So that's a mistake, that should be negative lambda, because I just pull out a negative sign from everything, because there's a plus sign over there. Okay, great. And now what? It has to be equal to the opposite thing of this thing. So this has to be equal to a k minus two, k minus one, minus lambda, a k minus two, right? In other words, we have a recursion relationship. We have that a k has to be equal to k minus two, k minus one minus lambda, a k minus two over k times k minus one like that, okay? Excellent. And now I'm gonna do one final thing. I'm just gonna shift by two units up to make this look a little more tidy. So this tells me also that a k plus two is equal to what? Is equal to a k is equal to k times k plus one minus lambda, all divided by k plus two, and then k plus one, like that. And then a 
k. So there's our recursion relationship for the coefficients of the Legendre differential equation. Now in particular, we can notice that if I choose lambda to be n times n plus one, this is important, lambda, if I choose lambda to be n times n plus one, then what happens? Then this turns into a k plus two is equal to k k plus one minus n n plus one over k plus two k plus one times a k. Okay? And now notice that as soon as k turns into n, where n is a natural number, so here n is a natural number, so if, k, if, k, if n is in k, then this recursion relationship will terminate as soon as k is equal to n. As soon as k, when k hits n, it'll be n times n plus one, n times n plus one, it'd be zero, then every other term of the recursion is gonna be equal to zero, right? So in other words, we have a special case of this differential equation, so note, here's the theorem. This theorem is due to Legendre. Okay, it says if lambda is equal to n times n plus one, then we look at y double prime times one minus x squared minus two x y prime, two x y prime plus, plus n times n plus one y equals zero has polynomial solutions of degree n. And of course, that's up to an arbitrary constant over here. So these, 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 these polynomials, so the solution will be y is gonna be equal to pn of x with the normalization constant that pn of one is equal to one over here. So I want pn of one to be equal to one. And these functions over here are called the Legendre polynomials. So these are the Legendre polynomials. And we'll con explicitly construct the Legendre polynomials from this recursion relationships in a future video. Thank you very much.